Shalom and light ones. Good to see you guys. Good to be here with you guys. Got a lot of noise in the background, but we still gonna get this done, man. It's definitely about discipline. This is the reason why I'm doing all the 31 days of Proverbs, because you you have to know how to be disciplined and, and stick to your word. It's one of the principles that we learn in the book of Proverbs. So rock with me as we read Proverbs 13. All right, verse one. 13 and 1 says, A wise son hears his father's instructions, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Um, we said this in multiple Proverbs chapters where it says, A wise man knows how to shut up. You know that's one of the principles you gotta you gotta know when when to talk about something and, and when to keep quiet about something you gotta have discernment right um, it says the soul of the slugger desireth and have nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat um, you know Proverbs repeats a lot of things because it when we repetition is key remember you play it in your mind enough it gets in your heart so it's about you know anybody who's lazy they 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 won't have anything, but the one who is diligent will be rich, right? A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame, right? If you're righteous, you hate lying, you know? We shouldn't have nothing to lie about if you're righteous, because we know that the Lord has our back, right? Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner, there is that maketh himself rich, yet have nothing. I'm reading from the King James Version, if you didn't know. Um, there is that maketh himself poor, yet have great riches. So, um, there's some people that seem to be poor, but, but really are rich. And there's some people that, that you know, seem like they're rich, but really are poor. Don't live a lifestyle that's that's not yours. You got to be honest even in your lifestyle. Like, don't try to live beyond your means, but work hard to get um, to the top you know um, it says the ransom of a man's life are his riches but the poor hear if not rebuke um, the light of the righteous rejoices but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out only by pride cometh contention but with well the well advised is wisdom see when you prideful about something you know, it, it really causes problems because that means you're not humble enough to be able to understand somebody or to properly communicate with somebody. So it's important to keep a humble spirit. The, the Bible says for us to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and he shall exalt us in due time. Uh, it's, verse 11 says, Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. So, you know, if, if, if you do something vainly right you know you don't have a no motive you know um your wealth will go away but if you gain wealth through your hard work you know it shall increase you know we know many ways where our wealth increases if we work hard and that doesn't even mean just a nine to five but businesses and and anything that you do right it said hope hope deferred make it the heart sick but when desire cometh, it is a tree of life. So if if something that you was wishing for didn't come to pass, it, it makes you sick and upset. But um, when what you desire comes to pass, it is a tree of life. Like it's, it's good to you. It said, "Whoso keepeth the word shall be, who whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded." If you fear the commandment. The Bible says, God said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So, in order to love God, you got to keep his commandment. If, if you despise it, you shall be destroyed or die, you know. Uh, the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Simple. Good understanding gives a favor, but the way of transgressions is hard. So, if you have good understanding, it, it gives you favor and makes a way for you. You know, because you could learn to do different things and, and have the upper hand in life. Uh, the way of transgressions is hard. It might seem like it's easy, but it's hard because they can't live a comfortable life. 
and I mean comfortable by like their, their conscience a lot of times. Um, every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. A fool, a fool's ways is exposed, right? It says a wicked messenger falleth to, into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. Uh, anybody be caught in the snares of their word, but uh, when you're faithful, giving a message is, is like health to the body. When you receive, a, when you receive good news, right? It says poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. You know, if, if you don't listen to wise words, you know, it it can bring you to poverty. But you who love rebuke or love correction, you shall be honored because the way is going to take you from, from listening. The desire uh, accomplishes verse 19 is sweet to the soul, but is abomination to fools to depart from evil. They don't want to depart from evil. Um, yeah, good people love desire accomplished but fools never want to uh, um, depart from their evil ways he that walketh with wise men shall be wise but a companion of fools shall be destroyed like like we said in the last chapter you know you you want to be rich you hang with rich folk you want to be wise you hang with wise folk hang with the people that you want to be like not just hang around but you know take advice from from wise people right um he it says 21 evil pursue of sinners but the righteous shall um, good shall be repaid It's simple A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just The Bible says the riches of the wicked Is stored up for the righteous Because the wicked wicked die in their foolishness They don't set plans That's foolish you know. But the righteous man knows how to store And be like um, Joseph You know I said much food is in the tillage of the poor But there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. All right, um, you know, if if you seek to to come after somebody, of course, it's, it is it's, life is going to be hard for you. But you know, riches, like I said, the riches are stored up for 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 the righteous. You know, the poor in spirit. Matthew five said, "The blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." Right. Um, Twenty four. He that spareth the rod hateth his son. But he that loveth him, chastising it, him from time to time, right? So if, if you don't chastise, just if you spare the rod, if you keep from um, disciplining your child, you, you don't love him. You know, you, you allow him to go into evil. Same thing with your brother. But he that loveth him corrects him from time to time. In the last verse, verse 25, The righteous eateth the satisfying of his soul, but the belly of the wicked shall want. The righteous will always have... Um, I remember what David said He said I once was young And now I'm old And in all my days I've never seen the righteous forsaken Nor his seed to beg for bread and That word is blessed and divine Thank you for joining with me I love you guys Stay blessed And stay in the word Peace